Good morning, ESM. I'm Sophie. And I'm Erica. Today is Tuesday, January 16th, and it is a day three. So as you could see, in the past few days or even the week, it's been sunny with little to no snow. Most of you, us included, are very excited about this warmer weather and the sun being out until we walk outside today. Yeah, yeah, this isn't just a fluke <laughs> in the weather pattern in Syracuse. There's an underlying cause most of us aren't necessarily informed about. More with that after news and announcements. On Thursday, President Hassan Rouhani announced that Iran is now enriching more uranium than it did before it agreed to the landmark nuclear deal with world, world powers in 2015. Iran has cut back on its commitments to the landmark Barack Obama-era nuclear deal in response to President Donald Trump's decision to remove the U.S. from pact and reimpose crippling sanctions. In the wake of the killing of top Iranian General Qasem Soleimani in a U.S. drone strike on January 3rd, Tehran announced it would lift all limits on uranium production. This caused the United Kingdom, France, and Germany to activate a formal dispute clause in the nuclear deal on Tuesday. Iran says the U.S. reversal justifies its decision to lift the limits of the nuclear deal, but European powers disagree. If no solution can be reached, Iran could see previous United Na Nations sanctions reimposed. OTS Express shows their gratitude towards their o alum ESM by no donating $1,000 to assist in paying off lunch balances at ESM Central High School. OTS Express is owned by Eden Omarik and Mehdi Masood, who both were honored at the Board of Education meeting on Monday. In a statement to the school board, they said, without the community, who would never be who they are today, so we are just giving back. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, make sure you check your senior quote in room D14 before Friday, January 17th. That's this Friday, tomorrow, by the way. Uh, if you don't verify your quote, it won't be printed in the yearbook. See Mr. Stalick for any other questions. Last call for anyone interested in doing construction crew for the musical. Meet in the auditorium today, Thursday, January 16th at 3.30 to join our amazing team to build and paint the sets for a Cinderella. Today is National Hashtag Quit Lying Day, as shown on the shirt here. <laughs> and the American Heart Association is doing a local media push. Quit Lying Day is a day to spread messages about the dangers of vaping throughout school. So Saturday was the warmest day ever recorded in the month of January in upstate New York. Uh, we're seeing some massive unusual weather changes lately, and unfortunately it's not for the better. A major jet stream this past weekend took the air from the southeast and carried it upward toward our area, causing these extremely high temperatures. However, this weekend will change that, as another storm will carry cold air and moisture up to the northeast, causing this next week of the 17th to the 23rd to land right on the time for one of the coldest weeks in upstate New York. Great. How exciting. Yeah. These storms aren't just coincidence, though. Every pattern that we see over the years has been a building result of global warming, which may or may not be hard to understand why. Yeah. Global warming isn't just uh, being warm in one day and, and cold the next. These trends and massive drops and rises in temperature at unusual times of the year have been happening for the past decade or two. So it's really important for people to recognize these trends as a result of global warming and not just nice weather. Right. And speaking of nice weather, let's see if we're right in our predictions of the weather. Today we will have multiple snow showers throughout the day with a high of 33. Tomorrow we have mixed sun and clouds with a high of 16. Saturday and Sunday there will be mixed rain and snow showers with highs in the mid to low 30s. Monday and Tuesday there will be expected snow showers with highs of 20 and 15. Wednesday there will be mixed clouds and sun with a high of 23. I'm Gabby with your weather. Right now, we're facing a man-made disaster of global scale. 
Our greatest threat in thousands of years. Climate change. If we don't take action, the collapse of our civilizations and the extinction of much of the natural world is on the horizon. The world's people have spoken. Their message is clear. Time is running out. The amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere now is 50% higher than it was in 1900. And not only are we piling in more and more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, but we are chopping down the forests of the earth at a great rate. And the forests themselves are the most efficient consumers of carbon dioxide that there are on Earth. We're going to destroy the ground because the soil of a rainforest isn't very good. We are actually tampering with the climate of the Earth and with the very atmosphere that we breathe. When we talk about the disappearance of the ozone layer, we don't know what will happen when the ozone layer goes. The world has become so fragile that we cannot subject the Earth to the tortures we can now inflict upon it. When we talk about the greenhouse effect, we're talking about something that affects the entire Earth. And these problems are life and death problems. They go to the root of the viability of the planet itself. if there's one thing that is biologically certain about the human species is that it is a human species, one species. If we don't stop the destruction of our natural world, nothing else will matter. Simply put, if we don't protect nature, we can't protect ourselves. solve a problem is by a human solution. Never can we sit back and wait for miracles to save us. Miracles don't happen. Sweat happens. Efforts happens. Thought happens. The wrestling team took a tough loss against Fulton last night. Uh, SU Basketball defeated Boston College last night 76-50. Buddy Beheim led the team with 22 points, and Mark Delajai had a double-double with 10 points and 11 rebounds. Luka Doncic had another triple-double last night in a win over the Kings. Doncic had 25 points, 15 rebounds, and 17 assists. He became the second fastest person to reach 20 triple-doubles and was only behind Oscar Robertson. He is also the first Mav with a 25-15-15 line and the youngest of nine NBA players to ever post up a line like that. In upcoming games, the boys and girls varsity bowling teams play at Cortland tonight at 3.30 and the girls varsity volleyball team plays against CVA at 6.30. Good luck to the bowling team and the volleyball team. And I'm John with your sports. So I hope today our show brought some awareness on the ongoing issue of global warming. We often overlook climate change as a smaller issue than it is because it isn't really severely impacting New York. But the sooner we start seeing it as a huge problem, change can happen. So that concludes our show for today. So for me, Erica, and everyone else at The Morning Show, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. <laughs>